all right welcome to the vlog this is gonna be a quick day turn vlog in this video scattered throughout it is gonna be a lot of helpful information um, about what it is like to be a flight attendant I kind of talk about the struggles of a flight attendant and if you are even cut out to be a flight attendant um, as you can see, I start my day off with some Opti Greens and Reds to boost my immunity. And if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and believe. Know what I want, so I'll take it on. I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. You guys want to introduce yourselves to the YouTube show? No. no. <laughs> do not film Donna? Me. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to board here in a minute, but I just want to say, hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Um, today, we're doing a quick turn. So we're doing Boston to Tampa, and then Tampa back to Boston. It's kind of loud in here. I don't know if you can hear me. I hope you can. My goal is to, instead of doing like two, three day or four day trips, is to test out what life is like doing turns. It might be a little difficult with traffic, but that's the game plan for today. So I'll see you guys back in Boston. Guys, good morning. So yesterday we did the quick turn. Crew was cool. A couple ladies that have been here for a while, so they know the industry very well. Very nice. But what happened was we landed in Boston at 1.34 p.m. We were done cleaning and off the plane by like, 1:50 p.m. I was out at the bus stop by 2 p.m. and then the bridge was up so I ended up waiting for that and then the bridge went down and then the bridge went back up ended up spending a whole extra like 75 minutes in Boston after I landed just to get to my car and then as soon as I got to my car if all went well I would have beat rush hour traffic through Boston but I didn't so I ended up sitting in traffic for what? <laughs> I ended up sitting in traffic for like an hour and a half. In total, I almost spent three hours just to get home yesterday. So I was PO'd about that. So I got home around like 4.30. I ended up passing out taking a nap because I was up till 11.30 the night before watching the Pats whoop the Steelers. And then I had to be up at like three o'clock to get to the airport. Anyways, what I want to tell you guys was my goal is I'm thinking about trying to maybe do two 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 to three day trips a month and then kind of settling for day turns reason being so is just because i've been away from home so much these past two months that i just kind of like miss being home and getting into a routine and um packing up your life all the time it's a lot of work it is a lot of work i'd have to say that's probably like the toughest part about the job is just being always on the go and having to pack up your life and just leave and then not being able to have a consistent routine, that is tough as well. So that would definitely be some cons of the job. But I mean, again, you can't really beat the pros, which are the travel benefits. It's just, at the end of the day, it's, you might be, <laughs> the benefits are great, but you travel for work. So the last thing you wanna do is when you're home is like travel. I'm trying to think of like future plans. And I'm like, if I buy a house, I probably won't even be able to spend that much time in my house. Think about that, because I, I work, probably 22 days a month with the National Guard included. So I'm gone like 22 days a month. So I'd have like eight days to spend in my house. Something to think about if you guys are thinking about joining the industry. This is definitely not a job for somebody that's a homebody. But if you are somebody that likes to travel, you love being on the go, you don't like being in one place, this is for you. But anyways, I'm gonna take you guys along for the day today. My goal is to start posting weekly videos on Wednesdays and then once I pass, my flight instrument test with the army, I'll kind of revamp and try and post up to two videos a week for you guys. Until then, say hello to Gronk. Gronk, say hello to the people. Sit, sit. So Gronk is a little antsy today because he's seen some bunnies out front and he's a hunter. He's been hunting bunnies. Um, this cute little guy here, has probably eaten close to close to 10 bunnies and maybe a couple squirrels. So Shanley's birthday is this weekend, so I'm trying to do something really nice for her. Very thoughtful type thing. Um, she really loves that stuff. So I ordered her a nice little ring. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy, but something that she really likes. And then I'm gonna go and write her a nice note and create her a card. 
and then just put a little bunch of goodies in a bag for her. And we're going to Jacksonville to visit her friends, and then she's got like a hair appointment, so she's getting her hair done. I guess I can catch you guys up. So last month when I was away for training with the guard, she ended up losing her line. She lost, She was on reserve last month. I was at the cutoff, so I don't know if I would have had a line or not. Since I was away for military training, we'll never know. But I have a line this month, so I'm not complaining. So just to give you guys kind of a heads up, if you guys are just joining the job, it might be a little while until you get a line because we are still at the cusp in Boston. But we're going to the gym today. We're gonna knock out some errands and yeah. Deep down, I know I'm a fighter. Deep down, I know my desires. Everybody thinks that I'm just a liar. They don't know what I got inside ya. I'm not one to fight fire with fire. I'm the type who never lets me get tired. Mess with me and they never will find ya. Yeah. People tell me I won't get it. They don't know me cause I'm cold winning. Always in the ninth, I close in it. Always in my mind, don't know quitting. I'ma be the one that blows up in it. You gon' be the one that shows up missing. I'ma be the one that knows my mission. You gon' be the one with no ambition. I'ma make you take it, take it, take it all back. You ain't never gonna get me, man, I'm too fast. Call me the juice, that 40 yard dash. Always look for it, no, never look back. I just spit the truth, better listen to my best. Give me up in the booth and I put them on a best. When I spit the truth, they all listen to the best. All right, what's up guys? We are back from the gym. I crushed a pole workout today. Um, if you guys are interested in free workout program, you can go to my Instagram in the link in the bio. Just click it and it'll pull up a 12 week workout plan for you guys. So if you guys are looking for that, do it. Um, I just wanna give you guys a heads up as well. I'm not currently doing the online coaching. One, because when you do a free online coaching, no one wants to participate. They all sign up, everybody's all for it, but no one wants to put the effort in and I'm like, kicking myself in the butt to post this information, keep everybody in the loop. So I don't think I'm gonna do the coaching as of right now. I think when I get my certificate, I'll start doing coaching, I'll start charging people because when people have a value behind something, they're just more apt to do it. If you guys want more workout programs on here, let me know. I figured I'd just save my workout videos for Instagram, like the full workout routine. But I just showed you guys a little teaser of my ab routine today. But we're back from the gym. Every post gym workout, you stack yourself with an ignition, which is a high glycemic carb on top of a hydrolyzed whey protein. This stuff is the best. If you like Nesquik, strawberry Nesquik, this is what that tastes like. But this is gonna feed your muscles post-workout. So you need that. You can get this post-workout stack, I think for like uh, Link is down below if you guys are interested. But what we're doing, we're back to eating healthy after two bachelor parties. We get 100 grams of rice, nine ounces of chicken. For like toppings, like condiments, I try to limit ketchup. I love ketchup, but I also love this stuff. Jalapeno mustard, zero, zero calories, no sugar, low sodium, can't beat it. But with that, I'm gonna eat, go shower, and then we're gonna head to Target because I gotta get Shanley some stuff. I kinda wanna make her, like I said, like a nice little sentimental little thing for her, you know? So I got her the ring. I wanna put together like a goodie bag of stuff that she loves, and then I wanna write a nice, meaningful note for her because she's the best. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna end the video here, but briefly, I kinda wanna go over my weekend. So I didn't end up picking up the camera when I was in Jacksonville. All right, baby. We in Jacksonville. Why are we here? Uh, birthday. It's my first year with her for a birthday. So what ended up happening was I ended up flying to Jacksonville with Shanley. Shanley had two um, appointments. She was getting her hair done and then her eyebrows done. And then we were visiting her friends, um, Tony and Allie, which are very nice. Um, she's a nurse and Tony's a firefighter in Jacksonville. Super nice couple, um, welcomed us into their home, cooked us breakfast, dinner, super nice. And uh, they ended up taking us to this place called Brewhound in Jacksonville, which was kind of cool. It's a dog park where you can buy membership, a yearly membership or a monthly membership, I'm not sure. And you get like free stuff every time you visit. And then you can bring your dogs there, just let them free, run loose, get some alcoholic beverages. You can sit down and hang out, pretty cool spot. We also went and got some food in Jacksonville. Um, we met up with some friends, went to Mellow Mushroom. If you ever been to Mellow Mushroom, the pizza is so good. And uh, then we ended up flying back. We got back to Boston, 
and it was Shanley's birthday weekend, so if you guys all could just leave Shanley like a happy birthday down the bottom, I'd really appreciate that. So, what we did for her birthday weekend, um, I ended up just creating a nice little card for her. Got her a ring. Um, not an expensive ring, just something that's like along her lines. She's not really a flashy type of girl. She just likes the simple things. So a nice homemade card is all she really wanted. And then the ring was the icing on the cake. We went and got some dinner. If you ever been to this place, it's in Pembroke. It's called Mother Anna's. Super good food. Um, I ended up getting seafood shrimp scampi basically and then she got um, raviolis and then we ended up just going back watching a movie and just enjoying each other's company but yeah so that was basically it right now the biggest question so I'm gonna try and do this every video now that's gonna be like the question of the video or question of the day we'll just call it the question of the video this question is what do you guys think I should do um, my big dilemma right now is I'm trying to figure out if I want to do more day turns throughout the month or pick up two to three day trips. The reason I'm thinking I want to do day turns is because I'm kind of missing home. If you didn't see earlier in the video, I kind of like talked about how um, it might be like pointless to buy a house, especially if I'm gone like 18 or 22 days a month. And uh, so yeah, that's where I'm sitting at right now. What do you guys think? Day turns or two to three day trips? Let me know down below um, your feedback is always appreciated. Once we hit that 3,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for two of my favorite supplements, the Opti Greens and the Micro Factor. Also, if you guys didn't know, this is another fill you in. Um, I did my first flight lesson. I went to a helicopter academy in Plymouth and I got my first flight lesson in. Um, overall, like the experience was amazing. I've, I learned so much just in that one hour session with the instructor, so I'm super stoked, super excited. Uh, and if you are wondering, I still am studying for my Army Aviation test. For some reason, I'm just procrastinating and putting off taking the test. I don't know why, but I'm gonna have my test done before October 26th, mark my word, it's gonna happen. And uh, yeah, let's keep things rolling. If y'all enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up, really appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next video.